us a little bit about this uh, this tour. Um, well, you know, this is primarily a one-off. We're doing it with Michael Franti, Gogo Bordello, and a bunch of other bands. And um, you know, uh, we've been touring during the summer throughout Europe and uh, in Red Rocks. And now this is kind of the, one of the last ones for a little while here. So yeah. Well, tell, tell us a little bit before the, you know our fans out there who may not be familiar, but you know your 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 band has a very eclectic style. You bring in you know music from basically across the world. I mean, how 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 does that how does that influence come about and is, do you travel to, to get those influences? Well, we actually travel because of the music we make, but uh, you know the influences come from our record collections, and uh, you know we're very influenced by music from around the world, and so that naturally kind of permeates through our music, and uh, you know we just. The world's a very close place uh, within our musical universe. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And you know, and and, and I didn't actually know this when I started going. Um, but one of my favorite places in the DC area is, is 18th Street Lounge, and so just find out that you and Eric are, are uh, owners of that place. Now that I know that, it makes sense because that's why I enjoyed it so much. Because there's such a broad range of music to enjoy when you're there. You can get reggae in one end, yeah. blues and jazz in another end, DJ outside. I mean, it's great. Well, yeah, Eric uh, opened up the lounge uh, in 1995 with his other partners, and we actually met there. And then we formed the record label 18th Street Lounge Music, and so. That was kind of the epicenter of what we were doing musically, and kind of uh, you know exploded with uh, you know just everything that was happening with Thievery Corporation. Great, great. Yeah. So for our fans out there, if you haven't been there, 18th Street Lounge, you definitely yeah, got to check really, it out. It's great. So uh, what, what's what's new right now with you guys? You, right now we're finishing album? up a new album, which we hope to have out early 2013. So we're just working on new music and doing some shows, and uh, you know just enjoying what we do. All right. We have a new album that'll be out at the beginning of the year. We've just been recording it all on, mostly on tour. We've been making it in every dressing room, every hotel room where we just set up our rig and start recording it. And uh, we've been out since April. We're just wrapping it up this week. We've got about you know 10 or 12 more shows to do this year. Okay. Of course, ESL is 18th Street, 18th Street Lounge. It is. It's the 18th Street Lounge, and ESL Radio is kind of a combination of ESL Music, the record label, and 18th Street Lounge, the venue. All right, perfect. So, I mean, uh, do you, is your playlist sort of uh, uh, musical genres that are similar to, to a, I mean, to uh, Theory Corporation? Or? It is. Um, obviously, because of the ESL music label, there's a lot of label music. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of the genre that Eric and Rob created with sort of a down-tempo, chill, lounge type of music. And we play many artists from Bittersweet to, that are off the label as well. I'm here because the band is self-producing the show tonight. Uh, I work, in addition to being their manager, at a fairly large concert oh. company. We do Lollapalooza. We do the Austin City Limits Festival. But the interesting thing about tonight is I'm actually here sort of just babysitting my friends and my clients. They did the show by themselves. Oh, wow. They self-produced it. They didn't want us involved. You know, they picked the bands, we helped them get them. But right. what you see here tonight is the spirit of Thievery Corporation, independent spirit. So you're just you're just observing from afar. Tonight, as strange as it seems, most people usually think we're producing it or uh, whatever. But yes, tonight I am just hanging out, admiring my boys and our friends, okay. Gogo Bordello. So what's what's on a scale of one to ten? What do you grade them? Uh, this festival, it, I haven't seen Thievery play yet, so I'm a withhold final judgment. But I would give so far Michael Fronte and Gogo Bordello a 12. Yo, my name is Flex Matthews and I ride the green line with the hot spot CWDC. Yeah, that's how we do it and we keep it that trail. It's with the hot spots, rocking with my man Will, for real. Kevin T flows that live. He got a ball here, remind me of Flo Rider. Still, we be chilling, do it all day, representing the hot spots. The kid don't play. That's my man Rex back here at the TV Corp show and we got that flow. I'm just chilling, spitting at rhymes, freestyle for out, 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 out on the green line. He's Flex Matthews and he rides the green. Hey. He's Flex Matthews and he rides the green line. He rides the green line. Hey. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> Flex Matthews rides the green line. If you live in D.C., you know they don't ride the green line. They stop right here at the Navy Yard and they get off. They don't go any farther than that. <laughs> anyway, hey, D.C. Hotspots, we're here at the Theory Corporation. Oh, shit. We're at the, I said the Theory. At the Theory Corporation concert. We had a great time. As always, DC Hotspots, you know where to find us, the CW, DC50TV.com. We out of here.